So to make the pattern for these gloves, I'll be using my Centro 48, just because I only have the 48, but you can be using the 40 as well, or the Adma Chin if that's the one you have. I've been using this Spot Saber Temply Acrylic Yarn, but you can use probably 8 ply as well, if you prefer that, okay? I'll be using my knitting needles, they are 5mm, you can be using 6 as well, it's no problem, okay? And so to start this, it's a really quick tutorial I wanted to make for Valentine's Day. And I'm going to be working on the panel. And I'll be casting on... I actually work panel, panel, but I work on the tube mode. I just realized you, can't, you don't really need to use the panel mode of your machine. I think it's probably there for kids, I'm not too sure. And the reason why I use the panel mode, the tube modes, because I can uh, start from middle number one here, and then I'm gonna cast on 25 stitches this way. My hands are a bit small, so if you have uh, thicker hands, if you have bigger hands, make a few more stitches right here. Make probably two, four more, maximum four, I think. And then, um, so I'm gonna keep cranking here. I'm gonna go back now. And I'm, I'll be making 25 rows, so it's a it's kind of a square, because 25 by 25, so um, I'll be making 25 rows and then I'll be casting off the stitches with my needles. So 26 rows and then make one row without yarn. and then we're gonna start from this side to that side so when we get here we have the running yarn on that uh, facing that way because we need to work with the needle and so I'm gonna go from the bottom to the top and you can always put your finger on top of it just put your finger on top of the the stitch and then that avoids the stitch coming off that that peg before you even reach reach it. So as you can see it's really easy. I'm using a five millimeters needle. I like it a bit smaller because um, just because it goes through this little gap uh, better than a thicker needle. Now this is ready to be finished. You can be finishing as well with a crochet hook. That's no problems, but I'll be finishing now with uh, knitting. So I'm going to just remove this stitch from the first stitch so the, so the yarn is on the other needle. And then I'm going to make, knit the second one and finish this way knit and pull that second stitch on top of the first one so i'll be doing that down here as well i'm gonna show you how quickly okay so you remove your panel from the machine and it looks like a mess like this uh, because i don't use waste yarn you can be using if you want to if you prefer this way i don't really do it because i fix what i do is i fix this last row so what I do is, first is I try to find out where this yarn is. It's, um, it's a tail that runs through all the stitches. And then I just pull it a bit so I know that's here. And uh, I'm just gonna put my needle through it, through all the loops. Now, if the loop starts starting to go down underneath the second loop, what I do is just pull it this running yarn a bit, yarn a bit and it will come out of there. So I have all my stitches 
on the needle and know what I'm going to do now and that's why I pulled that off a bit before is to so I know straight away which one to pull and there you go now all I'm going to do is I'm going to get the yarn again this so this one here I'm gonna use to stitch halfway because I need to leave a hole for my finger and I'm going to add this one here After I finish both sides here, both sides of the panel, I'm gonna grab the, my velvet yarn around a bit more than a meter because you're actually gonna use a fair bit to make this heart here in the middle. So what you do to place this heart is you place on top of your hand and you just put a marker that's what I did on the first one. Put a marker where you want to start your heart. So I'm going to start here. I count 9 and 10. And then the way you make this is called the duplicate stitch. And the way you make it is you put in the middle of one of the V's and then right on top on the second V you have after that one and leave it uh, loose otherwise it's gonna go underneath the collar you have on the bottom and so after you did this you're gonna go on the same spot you did before and then you're gonna go one up to the next row see I'm working on this V here and I'm going to the next row there let me see, I'm gonna work that way now because I'm making three here. So I'm going to make one, three, five, seven, nine. When I get to nine, I'm gonna start reducing, but I'm sharing this drawing as well on the top so you can see. And then here I'm gonna go to that same hole and then that one there in the middle of that second stitch. So you keep following this drawing I put there with the heart and that's where you kind of have to make your stitches. And then after you made the third stitch we're going to go um, right on the next stitch, on the bottom of the next stitch to start the next row which is gonna have five again. Okay? Keep repeating that same thing and make the drawing like uh, with the same number of with the um, just following the squares on the drawing. Now that we finished with this um, crochet duplicate stitch, and don't worry if you had to undo it, I had to undo it a few times too, it's normal until you, you get it right. So here I'm going to make a few stitches this way and then with this other yarn here, a few stitches that way. So this after stitching, that's what it's looking like now. If you don't want the fur, you don't need to put the fur. You can just make a little longer on the beginning here, but I'm going to put the fur because I actually love it. So this is all my fur here, look at it, it's a mess. <laughs> so I'm going to crochet this fur, so I'm going to put the hook just really anywhere you can because it's not gonna appear after with uh, this fur. So I'm gonna put through one of the holes and just pull the fur and leave the tail on the back there. 
and then you're gonna do yarn over and make a stitch then you're gonna skip one here I'm gonna go to the second one put it through yarn over pull it through the hole yarn over make a stitch skip one there yarn over pull it yarn over make a stitch and you're gonna repeat that around on both sides last stitch put it through make it and then we're gonna tr try to find a hole here where you can put the hook through you can't see much with using this yarn so and then pull it through making a slip stitch you just cut it off and then hide this behind with a hook and there you go. I'll make the other side and then this is ready.